think a $10 part probably caused all this misery. How y'all doing? I'm Big Al and welcome to my studio. So yesterday I posted a video about taking my Corvair out for a test drive and how it was successful. Well, I wanted to give you a little bit of an update. At the end of that video, I told you I was going to take the car out to the gas station and fill her up. Unfortunately, yesterday was a bit of what I would call a successful failure. It was a failure in the fact that I didn't even make it to the gas station, but successful in that it allowed me to make a diagnosis, finally, I think, as to what is ailing this car. See, as you can recall, the problem is I would get the car going and then it would just stumble and cut out. Well, yesterday, that's exactly what happened. I started it up, went out of the neighborhood. Instantly, the car started stumbling and running real rough and conked out right in the church parking lot where I turned around in my previous video. This time, I kept my head, pulled it, rolled into a parking space, shut the ignition off took the air cleaner off and pushed the accelerator linkage. I immediately saw a squirt of gasoline in the driver's side carburetor from the accelerator pump. That tells me the carburetors had gasoline in the bowls. And that allows me to completely rule out anything fuel system related with this problem. If it had been fuel related, I think the bowls would have been bone dry. So what I'm thinking it is now are the distributor points. If you recall, about this time last year, actually it was on Valentine's Day, I looked back through my videos and saw it, I replaced the points because the car was hesitating and it later turned out that was actually a bad accelerator pump in the driver's side carburetor. But the points I ordered were $10 part from Mexico, got them off Amazon, and I put them in. Then, as you recall, my other video I posted March 4th of 2022, I was talking about what EVs mean for the rise of the car community. I was driving the Corvair while that happened. Well, immediately afterwards, the car started running funny. I noticed the dwell was off. I started adjusting it. That's when the car started to stumble and cut out and Brought the car home again, tried to fiddle with it some more, and that's when it dropped the valve seat. A couple weeks later, I, after posting on the Corvair forums, a couple people said, Oh, that's not a valve seat, it's just a lifter, take it for a drive. So I did, and it left me on the side of the road. Well, all of these past times, I've stopped the car's cutout. I've managed to step on the gas a few times and get it started. So, going to the whole, let's, the whole, you know, what did I do last before all these problems started? The answer is the points. Oh, I know that, you know, intermittent failure is not generally a symptom of ignition point failure. Usually when they go, they go. But my gut was right about the valve seat. I'm hoping it's going to be right again about this. Points are a relatively inexpensive thing. I just, they're not the most pleasant job in the world to do, but I'll suck it up and do it. If it means getting my car back on the road, I mean, I spent all of last summer with the car's engine in pieces all over the garage. I want to get out and enjoy this thing. So let's hope that that's all it is. I think a $10 part probably caused all this misery. Now, just because something is brand new these days does not mean it's good. Quality control is just non-existent. You know, my dad said, you're dealing with a 50-year-old car and 50-year-old parts. 50-year-old parts aren't the problem. It's their cheap Chinese replacements that are the problem. Although I should say these points were actually Mexican, but probably still cheaply made. So I'm going to get a good set of points, probably AC Delco's, hopefully uh, Midway Auto Parts over in Greer's got them in stock. And hopefully that is what fixes the problem. 
Now, anyway, short little video. Thank you for watching. I hope you will please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next installment.